do you actually think, okay, Tasha and her husband, okay, that we believe that y'all didn't steal this girl money like she just made the shit up. Oh, yeah, right there on the spot. Yeah, and you stole my money. It was so much emotion in that part. You know what I'm saying? And then the mother get on my, oh, no, um, she didn't steal your money. She didn't steal your money lying like shit to us. And it had a nerd to do some nasty ass shit. That's a mother, she a nasty ass bitch. That mother a nasty ass bitch. Because you invited them people in your house, them camera people, and it had a nerve to tell them, yeah, y'all can get out. Just get out. Why? Because now you getting embarrassed. Why don't you handle the situation that your daughter did, and then you won't have to keep covering up for her dumb ass? Because she want to sit there lying about the fact that you know that your daughter stole your other daughter's money? Like, why are you not handling that issue, mother? Like, mother. You know what I'm saying? Your mother ain't mothering. And that's fucking stupid. Like, and then on top of that, you doing dumb ass shit like this. And people, it's people out in these damn streets that can't have kids and see the shit that you doing. And you looking stupid. You understand? Like, I just don't like this type of shit. And you think you're doing a service to your daughter by being on her side. You have her looking like a whole goddamn fool. And you're not teaching her right and wrong. So when she go out in the streets, she goes out in the streets. Okay? She don't know how to handle her goddamn self because she looking stupid. Okay? That's it. Girl, like, I told, I did not want to review this show when I saw this issue coming up because y'all this shit is too close to home. Okay? Too close to home. And there's so many issues, y'all. Anyway, the mother is denying it. And Tamika just crying her, y'all, I've been going through this my whole life. Uh, why did you say that you know she stole my money, mama? You know she stole my money, mama. Girl, like, you sound all dumb. Like, the bitch off of, uh, uh, what's, what's the show? Um, what's happening when she was begging her mother not to burn it with the, with the arm. Mama, stop. No, mama, stop. Like, you can't get up and leave. Like, I, I was getting annoyed with Tamika because, bitch, like, Nah, and this is why you got treated the way you got treated because you've allowed it for so long. You know what I'm saying? You've allowed it for so long. Then y'all, when Tamika goes to meet up with Tiny and Candy, she lets her hear a message, okay, girl, that her mother left on her phone. Telling her basically, um, you know, spending out all this God stuff, she's not um, doing it in a godly way, you know, just being evil being fucking evil. She basically said, basically stop talking about my goddamn daughter before I kick your ass. That's what she basically said to her daughter. Left it on the voice. My ever give a fuck about her feelings at all. Like, bitch, you all out of line. That's what Ayana would say. You are out of pocket and you are out of line. You acting like her goddamn sister and you are her mother. Okay, get a fucking backbone, bitch. Like, this shit is crazy and stupid. Tiny and Candy just looking like Damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then just like Todd said, when her mother is treating her in this way, what does that make Tamika feel like? The other child. Then on top of that, the mother, y'all, we can go on and on. The mother knows that Tasha stole her money, and they had a nerve to say, well, um, make it up excuse for her. Yeah, well, maybe Tasha was going through something at the time. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> You're always going to make excuses for her. Like, are you serious? So when she get in trouble for stealing from somebody out in the street for real, like Tamika said, hey, bitch, you want to go down this road? Because you still can get locked up. You know, because my best friend was ready to call the fucking police on you. You want to go down this line of lying, bitch, we can go right in it because you still can get locked up for this shit because you are a fucking thief. <laughs> you know, the mother... Had a nerve to say this to her. Yeah, well, um, you don't know what Tasha was going through at the time, okay? You know what, bitch? Okay, well, I ain't know what I was going through when I zapped out on your goddamn daughter. How about that? When I saw windmilling this bitch, okay, then I, I didn't know what the fuck was going on because money is involved. And then on top of that, like Tamika said, I had a child in college at the time and I was pregnant. About to bring a whole person into this world and you don't give a fuck? Y'all. She's good for even meeting this bitch on camera because it would have been all bad. And it had a nerd to say, you know, Tasha, oh, yeah. And I, and with her holier than thou, grandiose ass, going to sit up in that goddamn confessional and tell oh, yeah, and I'm just waiting. I'm surprised that she hasn't given me and my mother an apology. <laughs> I'm like, oh, she want an apology, y'all. She really thinks she's right, okay? Because, bitch, I'm telling you right now, you're looking stupid and dumb. 
And I know that motherfucking social media ate your ass alive because you are dead wrong and so out of line. So out of line, that's crazy that you think you owe an apology when you stole out of this bitch. We're talking about $30,000? You're talking about, and to make a need to tell the bitch you keep on talking, I'm going down to the motherfucking courthouse. You keep on running your goddamn mouth, okay? You keep on. Tamika sitting in the motherfucking corner crying. Bitch, you ain't got no time to cry. You got to fight back with these motherfuckers because they acting crazy and they think that you the one is slow. That's what they thinking. Okay, I, girl, my energy, I'm serious. I can't do it. I cannot do it. I cannot be allowed to sit there and take bullshit. I cannot do it. So anyway, yeah, she's saying that um, in the confessional. So somebody owe her something. Bitch, I don't owe you nothing. How about that? You, you owe your ass whooping. That's what I owe you. You want that? Is that what you want? You want your ass here for that? Okay, girl, that, by the time I finish with Tasha ass, you know what I'm saying? She probably wouldn't even want to come on this fucking show. She probably wouldn't because, Tamika, you let, you let this shit get all out of line. All out of line. Okay? Anyway, she's in there, you know, got herself all reserved and got these bitches. Got tiny candy looking all, like, nervous. Got these bitches looking nervous. Why? Like, for what? You know, and Candy did try to stand up for two. We're going to talk about it. But, bitch, I was looking nervous and scared and fuck that bitch. You understand? Like, that's how you got to carry her. She up there sneak trying to get deals behind y'all backs and shit. Trying to rock off of the coattails of y'all because she know y'all hot right now. She do it every time. This is what she was doing last time they had a whole damn season of, of their life. This is what she did when we saw that you always trying to go sell a bitch and you can't even make it because you, you, you're evil. That's why you're evil. It ain't not, And then on top of that, you don't even have no type of presence. You probably don't have no stage presence. You know what I'm saying? You don't have a fucking personality. And you're not going to make it. If your time has passed, now you want to get into gospel? Go over to that and that music to try to get them to, what, believe that she's a God-fearing person. And girl, you ain't God-fearing. No, nothing about you is God-fearing because you ain't afraid of him. You ain't afraid to smack your ass down in the middle of you treating your sister this way? Girl, in the back on top of that, it say, thou shall not steal. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, y'all, this bitch, they are crazy. They, they, Tosh has lost her goddamn mind. Anyway, y'all. Hey, everybody, it's your girl, Sassy Sean T. I'm coming back with another video. Yes, honey, back with another one. Girl, y'all, get into this episode, this second episode, okay, of Escape and SWV, y'all. I'm so glad I'm reviewing this, y'all. I was about to not, okay, but I got several requests to do it, and I really want to review it. Y'all know I love music. I was going to start this video. I was thinking, y'all, but it's kind of late. It's 10 50 at night, you understand? So I can't really be going into that and playing around with y'all with that today, but. We gonna get into it, y'all. I love singing and I love SWV and Escape, but I do love SWV over top of Escape. You know, I like Escape, but yeah, SWV. I love their music. Okay, been loving it since high school. So yeah, y'all, let's just get into it. Okay, so we are gonna start off from the last episode. Everybody has gone outside because Tamika and her mom has got into it about Tasha and her husband Rocky basically stealing her royalties, thirty thousand dollars that she did not know anything about until Tiny's mother, okay, let her know. Yeah, y'all was giving royalty checks, and yeah, Tamika like, okay, well, where the money? Okay, so yeah, she was like, it was sent to their home, and I'm just like, that's real fucked up. The mother is choosing sides now. Tamika, y'all have said that this has always been the case with their mother, always choosing Tamika's side, always on Tamika's side, always going against her. I know that too well, y'all. I am a victim of how Tamika's getting treated as well. Yes, your girl Sassy um, is not her mother's favorite, okay? Never has been. I'm always the villain, you know what I'm saying? I'm always doing things to my twin sisters, and I'm always the one who is creating shit and doing shit to them. When I'm the one staying in my goddamn house over in Virginia, y'all know I grew up in D.C., but it's somehow I always seem to start stuff with people who live like 100 miles away, okay? Um, but yeah, I've never been my mother's favorite. I totally understand what Tamika um, is going through. Me and my mother's relationship is much better now um, out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? And I'm glad for that, but I was feeling her pain because, yeah, that shit is real. The shit that is going on with Tamika 
And her mother acting as if Tasha can't do no wrong is real. It could be right there, sat in stone. That this is what this bitch said to me. This is what she did. And yeah, the mother don't want to hear because she already got her mind made up of choosing the daughter that she wants to choose and be right. You understand? I just would never do it for my kids. And I can't even imagine um, leaving one of my kids feeling like they mother don't fuck with them. Like, that's crazy to me. And I just can't understand that. You know, it's nothing that my child would have said or did to me that would warrant me treating my daughter in that way. And yeah, if I feel like I can't get along with my child, then I think that I would try to have a talk with her. You know what I'm saying? And try to bring all parties together to try to see how we could mend the relationship that's broken. Because that's another thing. I would never want my kids to be beefing. I say it all the time when I see um, daughters will go through this type of shit. Or when I was going through it with my mother, I just would never leave my child hurting. And I was left hurting a lot of times like Tamika. And my husband has been there to catch the tears on everything I have gone through with that. when it's clearly them. You know, and the mother does not give a fuck and does not care about your feelings, does not care that you sitting somewhere upset or crying. You know, a lot of times I think on my end, it was, um, and we're going to get into that, episode. I'm always talking about myself, but okay, girl. Um, a lot of times for me, I think that, you know, I am a very strong person and, you know, I say what's on my mind and I'm not going to run with no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And I think when people know that you're a strong person and they know how you're going to react, <laughs> they try you, you understand? And people don't like when you're strong. They just don't like it. They don't understand it. They don't like your ways. They don't like it. And they want to break you down, you know what I'm saying? So in a lot of cases, I think that the things that were said and done to me, people didn't look at it as if it was wrong and hurtful to me. It's like I don't have feelings because I am a strong person. You understand? So they just thought that they could do certain things and say certain things to me and it would not affect me, but it affected me every fucking time. You know what I'm saying? But I just didn't show that it affected me because I'm a strong person. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, when I did show it, then I gave you my motherfucking ass to kiss. You know what I'm saying? And my mouth was going a hundred miles a minute because, bitch, you're wrong. And I'm going to say it each and every time. I'm never going to not say it. Especially when it comes to me or my kids. So, Tamika is different from me in that type of way. She sit back and be agreeing with them on shit. I've never agreed with some dumb shit that I don't like. I never will. That's not how I'm built. My daddy don't roll like that. You know what I'm saying? And I have always looked up to him as a little girl and handle stuff as it came and be for whoever I need to be because the shit is wrong. You know what I'm saying? And some people, they just don't have it in them to stand up for themselves or others for the right reasons. You know what I'm saying? It's been times for me, like I be beefing with my sisters and yeah, this bitch dead wrong with what she did to me or said to me, nah, y'all wrong right now. You understand? But people just don't go to bat for me like that because they just assume that I'm strong and yeah, she could take it. You know what I'm saying? And I think it was a little bit of iteration involved. You know what I'm saying? Because of my personality, I'm starting to see that over the years. You know, that that is a big part of why some people just can't take me because they don't like me because of my personality. But y'all, I'm getting into a lot of stuff. Okay? So let's just keep on with the whole thing. That's why I didn't really want to come on here with this issue. And I was just like, oh shit. Because when I saw what she went through, Tamika went through with her mother, it was identical to me. Like, it was nothing that I could do to convince my mother that this is what she did to me. Because she always had my sister's back. One of the two. It was always my fault. You understand? So, I really didn't want to um, review this when I saw this issue because I didn't want to come on here doing all this, but I'm going to keep it real and maybe somebody out there is going through the exact same thing. Shit, stay in what you believe, you know what I'm saying? And don't let people have you thinking that you wrong and that's how they had Tamika. They had Tamika thinking, oh yeah, well I just got to agree to get there. Let me fuck that shit. I don't need nobody's love. You will respect me. That's what you will do. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to keep on playing with me in my face and think that I don't see what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? So, And then on top of that, like I said, I don't need nobody's approval. Not no bitch, no nigga, nothing. Okay? So, And it, I, it ain't even about me having a family that I have that is so supportive. My husband, my kids, everybody always saw what I was going through. You know what I'm saying? But it's not about them being supportive because they was real supportive, you know what I'm saying, in my home every time I went through stuff with people. But don't get it twisted. I always 
stood as Donna. You understand? And I always will say what I needed to say, and that's part of the problem, too. I'm always going to stay strong in it, and I'm not going to let no bitch shake me. No nigga or no bitch shake me, and that's just how I was raised. You know what I'm saying? So, Tamika, I just really don't agree with you telling, um, what she tell Todd, yeah, um, I just agree with it because it's the best way to get my mother's love, and I knew I shouldn't go against them, bitch. <laughs> I couldn't give a fuck about nobody's love or going against nobody because you're not going to treat me like shit and think I'm supposed to kiss your ass. That, that's crazy to me. That's fucking crazy to me. I just could never let it happen. On top of that, Tamika, the thing about it is, this is the reason why Tasha walks around holier than thou, bitch. You look dumb. Tasha, let me tell y'all something about Tasha. She has been groomed this way. You understand? She's going through several things. She's going through the thing where, for one, the mother has always put a stamp on anything that she has done to be up against Tamika about. So she thinks she's right. She knows right from wrong, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say this was what mama said it was right. So even when I wrong Tamika, I could still shit on her. Like, bitch, you try to, I don't even sleep at night. Knowing this shit is wrong and what you're doing to your sister, but you just marinate and, and love it and, and love the fact that your mother takes your side every single time. It's fucking you a bitch and you're looking crazy. Tamika has been spoiled. That's the whole point. Tamika has been spoiled into believing and thinking that she's right. So that's why she walking into these rooms and people at home looking dumb as fuck. The way she walked in that meeting, y'all, the first episode, bitch, you look dumb. And we can see everything. We see everything. You look stupid. And you really think you're right. And you're not. You understand? So she's walking into these rooms, holding in and out because this is how her mother has lifted her up for so many times, for so long. And this is how Tamika has kept her afloat and allowed her to be on this type of level. You understand? So when she looking back at Tamika, like, oh, now you beefing with me, bitch, because you always take it. You know what I'm saying? Like a bad relationship, how I always say in my other videos, how a nigga treat a bitch who he been cheating the whole time, and bitch, oh, now you want to stand up for yourself? You know what I'm saying? Just how she looking at Tamika, like, bitch, go ahead, you doing too much. Oh, now you're not going to ride for me, and you had my back the whole fucking time? You know what I'm saying? Tamika just sitting over in her corner, girl, you need to stop crying. Fuck them bitches. Like, that's crazy. That is that's so fucking crazy. Tiny and Candy was even saying how she had her sister back on everything because Tasha has caused so much shit and commotion, okay? Within this escape group, all of these years, you know, we're going to get into that. But she has caused all these issues and problems over the years, and Tamika has been there right by her side when Tasha has been dead motherfucking wrong. You understand? So it was laughable to Candy when she was seeing the light, when this bitch is seeing the light, but it shouldn't have got that damn far because Tasha has been basically abusing her own damn sister with her mother. They have been abusing Tamika this entire time. Girl, you let that shit happen. Tamika, you let that shit happen and fuck that. I'm surprised your husband ain't say something to you about it. Now, the other reason why Tasha is the way that she is, okay, is because of that husband, y'all. She is getting mentally abused, okay? That looks like an abusive relationship because he is very controlling. And it's a lot of truth in his jokes that he be saying. You understand? Like, he is a whole ass bitch ass nigga. And he, to me... When I heard that story, I told my husband, that's some bullshit. And he been trying to use her from the beginning. That's just what it looks like to me. Because I told my husband the story of what, how they met. I think it was um, last episode. Basically, she was dating somebody. And um, he was in the area or something when they was up there um, recording or something. And he was a security guard or something. Went to this man she was dating or whatever and told him, yeah, she going to be my wife. And then took her from her boyfriend. Okay, yeah, we can all say that's cute. <laughs> that's nice. He really wanted to be with her. Yeah, he saw that bitch could sing. Okay, and this bitch, Tasha, she can not just sing, bitch. That bitch can sing. Okay, did y'all see the last part of this episode? Like this bitch, yeah. She can sing, okay? All up in that. Uh, uh, this bitch sings. This is what she does, okay? But bitch, you can't make it in the industry, okay? Because of your goddamn attitude, okay? You have a Monique complex with an abusive ass husband and you keep going around being all fucking difficult, okay? And don't nobody want to work with your ass. On top of that, they always praising God, y'all. It's funny how she had God is dope shirt. And she going to walk in her kitchen with this hot red, okay, God is dope shirt on. Girl, I hate when people play in God's face like that. 
You are playing in God's face and doing the devil work. Because people who, most of the people who go to church and claim they all with the Lord and with Jesus, they the most evilest motherfuckers ever. And always claiming that they're so holier than thou. They really believe in judging everybody around them and all this other stuff. And always throwing that back up in somebody's face. I know somebody, and I ain't going to mention who does that. They be dead wrong, and they evil as fuck. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact. Okay, and as soon as you get this bitch in her lies, you know what I'm saying? She want to throw, oh, I'm going to pray for you. Oh, God, don't, oh, girl, you need to stop. That is so fucked up. And God, girl, you know God is watching that. Matter of fact, let me get the fuck away from you from you get struck down. Because that shit is wrong the way people be using God and playing with God. That, and then had a nerve to say, oh, yeah, her husband told himself, oh, yeah, because she came to him saying, yeah, um, the situation with my mother and um, Tamika went left about, you know, talking about how we stole her money and all this other stuff. He told himself, yeah, think about that. When you steal and stuff like that, yeah, you'll have to go through that and people will look at you. Yeah, that's what you get now. You're going through this shit because you stole her money. Now they sitting there in the living room and... You know, all these bitches just looking like nervous and scared. Fuck that bitch. Ooh, like for real. I wanted to say, y'all, fix y'all face now and fix it now. You know what I mean? And Tasha sitting there, she had this little grandiose attitude, like stuck up or whatever. And they trying to have a conversation and they like, well, what do you think about it? And Tasha's like, well, it's just a lot of things that we have to talk about and get past and everything. But then in the confession, you're going to say, oh, yeah, well, um, they just like sweeping stuff under the rug. Bitch, we trying to talk to you about it. You're not wanting to have the conversation. So what you want is you're not going to play fucking game and semantics with us because we can see exactly what you're doing. Or the producers wouldn't even play that shit right after you said that, dumbass. Like, stupid. Anyway, y'all, next thing you know, Tamika's like, oh, yeah, um, what's wrong? You know, what, what's going on? And Tasha gonna say, yeah, you know what's going on. You know what's going on. And I'm not gonna have this discussion with you because mama ain't here. Why do you want your mother to be there, bitch? So she can back you up on your bullshit? You know what I'm saying? You really don't want that because all of them would be looking at you crazy if you brought your dumb ass mother in here and they saw how she acted. So you really don't want that, Okay. Next thing you know, she just gets up, you know what I'm saying? Look like she ain't want to get up like she knew she was wrong, but you was moving real slow. You understand? You was not going as fast as you, you should have got up like you was just pissed. You ain't had a right. You know what I'm saying? So you got up all slow, collecting your weak ass looking bag. Bitch, she be dressed and cute, but you can't even really vibe or fuck with her all the way because she a fucked up individual. You understand? Her wigs be looking nice too, y'all, but you can't really fuck with the bitch all the way because she's slow. You understand? And she's dumb. And her whole way about her, she is just, must be, seems like very bitter and mad and angry. You know, we're going to get into it too because that was a big part of it too. Just She just seems like real angry, bitter, mad, um, got a lot that she has bottled in. We're going to talk about it, the conversations that she had with her husband and the conversation that Candy had with Todd. You know, because Todd basically caps the shit off when it comes to Tasha and Candy. And I was here for it. Because as far as I'm concerned, that's what the fuck is going on, okay? Anyway, she gets up and, yeah, Candy decides to, you know, get some balls and say something to the bitch. And say something to the bitch where it's worth saying. You know what I'm saying? Worth saying because this bitch ain't trying to talk and say nothing of what she think about what's going on anything, you know? And then on top of that, bitch, why are you taking everybody through this? Like, this is so damn rude. It's so inconsiderate. It's so selfish how you're taking everybody through all of your emotions or whatever you're going through, bitch. And these people are sitting here and trying to move on to get their back. But you are stopping. Who, y'all, I'm surprised they not more mad at her than they even letting on because, bitch, now you're playing with my money. You understand? So either you're going to do the show or you're not. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure they've done shows. I think they did shows without her, so it's not that fucking serious. We all gonna be singing along anyway, Tasha, on your part, so it doesn't even really fucking matter. You understand? Anyway, y'all, if I can just get to my point. Um, because I run to my mouth, y'all. I'm so good at that. Running my goddamn mouth. Um, yeah, what is it? Candy asked her, um, well, we haven't, she could Tasha and got up by now. You know what I'm saying? Going to the stage left, bitch. Or dumb. And Candy was like, yeah, but we haven't discussed the business side of it. You know what I'm saying? And she like, well, you know, I need to talk to my sister or whatever. 
that you knew that before you came. And what the fuck? If I was to meet, I would tell the bitch, um, it ain't nothing for us to discuss. Me and you already had the conversation. I need you to, to be depositing it's thirty thousand dollars in my motherfucking bank account. That's what I need you to do. I don't have shit to say with your ass, okay? And I just said it right there in front of the bitches. I don't give a fuck at this point, cause you don't. Anyway, um, Candy's like, yeah, if I could get to my point, <laughs> Candy is like, yeah, um, well, we need to discuss the business part of it. So, okay, once you go outside, it sounded like she was had this nervousness in her voice. You know what I'm saying? Well, um, you can go outside, tell us something. You can go outside and talk to your sister, and then when you come back in, we'll have a conversation, you know, as far as the group and how we need to move on to um, basically fuck with SWV on the tour. That's what we'll talk about. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, no, we're going to talk about it now because this is the reason why we met. We didn't meet up here for you to get your little diva moment and then try to leave up out here and leave all of them looking stuck and stupid. Y'all letting this bitch play y'all with all the little dumb shit that she trying to give to y'all. And y'all, I'm telling y'all, it's just like a bad child. Nip that shit in the wood. Like, let this bitch know. Look, God. <laughs> Look, this is the last time that we will be meeting up anywhere. So if you want to be in a the group, then you need to come on. If you're not going to be on the yeah, girl, kick rocks because I'm not doing this anymore. Okay, we're not wasting any more time. And as far as I'm concerned, bitch, okay, I'm tired of talking about it, okay? Because I get too emotional with this situation, okay? So I'm tired of talking about the fucking issue of your mother, Tamika. Now I'm talking to you, bitch, the, the issue of your mother not fucking with you. Like, you done gone on the live, talking about it with your daughters on the live. You know, I was feeling bad for her and everything because she was talking about it and upset and saying how her mother really ain't fuck with her. Had all these different stories. Y'all y'all need to go listen to because it's a lie. But then you want to get on here and go sing the same talking to Todd. Todd's probably like, bitch, I ain't coming for all that. Uh, 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 uh. Like, you doing too much. You going from saying the same crime. And, bitch, you need to just handle this bitch accordingly. You know what I'm saying? And then if you need to let your mother know, look, this is what's going on between me and Tasha. We are no longer, uh, we'll be talking until she gets it together. And if you don't like it, then I don't know what to tell you. On top of that, I'm not talking to you either because you don't know how to act. Okay, that's just it. And you got to handle your business like you handle every other thing. That's what you got to do. Even if it's family members, y'all, I'm not a person who says, yeah, oh, well, we family. And you supposed to shit all over me? Like, yeah, if people do that, I'm not the one. So if you plan on giving me some shit, just know I ain't going to fuck with you regardless. And I don't give a fuck who you are. Anyway, y'all, Tasha was basically saying how, and it may be the case, you know, a lot of times back in the day when they were in the group, Candy really always had a problem with her singing some of the songs, lead for some of the songs. I believe it. I do believe that. You know what I'm saying? Candy, we can tell how she likes to chase the bag. So she might was upset and forceful in that way. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It seems like Candy money hungry. Nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying her energy is that even today chasing the bag and wanting to be that girl okay so maybe she did give um tasha her ass to kiss when tasha and we all know the bitch can say you know what i'm saying and she probably was getting a lot of the lead roles for our singing and i really do believe that candy was getting mad i believe that i believe that and yeah that goes back to what todd said todd was like you know she's envious of you you know she's looking at your career like you know you've made it and you're there and she probably thought that she was gonna make it in that way and she hasn't you know so she has a thing towards candy and she feels some type of way about candy you know and i think that to be true too i think that's where tasha is right now think about it, y'all she's still struggling trying to get her solo deal out and just never lands you know what i'm saying Everything Candy touch, everything this bitch touch turns to gold. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it has been for Candy. She's been blessed in that way. You know, and here it is as far as Tasha. I can sing. I'm the one that can sing. Bitch, you got to have more in life than the fact that you can just sing. You know what I'm saying? You don't have a personality. You know what I'm saying? You don't have any stage presence probably because of your personality, because of your personality. You know, um, maybe you're difficult to work with. Like I said, maybe like how Monique and her husband is. Maybe because your husband seems very possessive and controlling. Maybe that's some of the issues, you know what I'm saying? 
And yeah, I think Tasha's mad because of that. And she's envious of Candy. And Tasha said it best. I couldn't have said it no better. I can't find it in my notes. But the way you said it was like, yeah. She thinks she should be on your level at this point, And she's not. I think that's the case. Anyway, y'all. Tasha and her husband meet up with a gospel label, you know, because she wants to um, go over to gospel and try to do that or whatever. And yeah, the guy asked her, the, the, the label guy asked her, you know, have you told SWV? And she's looking all stupid. Bitch, like, you wrong, you know you wrong. Because you sneaking behind their back trying to do this shit when you know they're hot, trying to use them. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, there's not enough time in the day to be working under two different labels. Like, that's fucking stupid that you think that you can do that. You think you're just going to wing yourself off and go over here? Girl, that's God see that. You know what I'm saying? And you don't understand that? Like... You know, and the husband, you could see him sitting back. They only show his shoulder, his arm when he asked her. Because he just let you out there to the wolves, you know. When the guy asked you, you know, if you told escape, you know, of your doings. The fact that you're trying to get on our label and you got a whole tour and doing things with them. You know, the, the husband just leads you out to the wolves and he's sitting back, you know, looking at, yeah, bitch, what you going to say? What you going to say? <laughs> he told me something, oh, I thought you already did. Like, bitch, come on now. Y'all have all type of pillow talk, all this type of shit. You see what he just did to you, Tasha? You see exactly what he did? He just, like, then he had your back on it right then and there, and he could have spoke up for you. Right then and there, if he was a good manager, oh, well, we're working towards, you know, doing that. We've been, like, loud some. Um, it's been hard to come together with them. We got some stuff coming up with them. But we have been planning on letting the group know. Like, you have good intentions for the group. You understand? You have good intentions for the group. Your ass don't know that in the industry. His ass ain't know that to speak up her right then there in the industry to not look like a fucked up person. For you, girl. Okay? For you. Did somebody y'all know? That was some of the issue that Candy had in the meeting that y'all had. The fake ass meeting that y'all didn't fucking get to discuss. The fact that the person that they've been working with, the management company that they've been working for, the management person that they've been working for is, yeah, friends with Tasha and Rocky. <laughs> so they're like, yeah, we need to go ahead and cut ties right now because we're not getting what we need to get as far as the shows and just being promoted and all of that. Because they was like, if we fell off because they wasn't getting what they needed to get. Meanwhile, y'all, SWV, honey, is doing all of the things all over the world. Yeah, they had a show in South Africa, some rich guy. Um, show in South Africa where um, he paid them like millions of dollars to perform, okay? Um, yeah, Taj let us in on that. I said, oh, okay, yeah. So they was up there. And then Taj was saying too how, yeah, they always doing shows all throughout the week, you know, and all year around, they always booked and busy, okay? So y'all need to find out their management company, you know, SK, and figure out what y'all need to do, or at least, like y'all said, drop this motherfucker, because whoever's attached to Tasha and Rocky, yeah, they ain't about no good, okay? That's just what that is, so, yeah, y'all need to do that quick, fast, and then the motherfucking hurry, because they can already see they not getting the bookings that they need, because this motherfucker ain't working, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure the management person that's supposed to be managing Got all the reasons on why, you know, things haven't been going good for escape. So, yeah, y'all, that is all for this video. Y'all, like this video, okay? Even if you ain't like it, like the motherfucker, okay? Like it, y'all. YouTube play my videos when you like the video more. Um, and then, too, make sure y'all subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Hit that subscribe button since we slay over here, okay? We have a lot of fun. And, yeah, you don't got to pay nothing. The shit is free. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button since you will not be disappointed, okay? I will see you ladies and gents later. Bye.